Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a mini album to share for Bella Boulevard. I'm using the absolutely adorable To The Moon collection, uh, which is just super cute um, and uh, Perfect for me and my little boy who loves rockets. Um, I'm also using a cut file from the Silhouette Design Store, which is just called Rocket. Um, and it's actually by Bella Boulevard and is the rocket from the collection. <clears throat> so I'm using that to make the bases of my pages. Um, as you can see, I've already cut everything out. I've used um, the coordinating to the moon um, Bella Besties pack to cut out some of these shapes. So you can see that I have three navy blue um, rockets at the bottom and I have two of the lime green ones. Um, and then I have cut the second piece, so the uh, body of the rocket, um, with um, out of different colors. So I've got some blues and I've got the reds um, and then I've got the little stripes in orange and lime green. Um, and navy blue. So, and then the circles are in blue and green. So I'm just trying to kind of coordinate. Um, <clears throat> you know, the fact that the pages themselves are um, navy blue, for example, on the top row, um, most of that gets covered over with the detail. Um, however, um, on the back, obviously it remains blue. Um, so you do still get to see some of that, even though you are covering up lots of layers. Um, with Bella Boulevard cut files, they do come in uh, layered pieces so you can cut the things from different colors um, really really easily um, so there's no real kind of back filling with a cut file like this but um, definitely layering up um, and it just makes layers really easy it makes makes it really easy to have cut files that have multiple colors on them uh, because all the hard work is done for you uh, with the cut file because it's already uh, layered so it's all you have all the different pieces um, and you just put them on top of each other and they all fit obviously so uh, so yeah it's pretty cool um, and I've utilized some uh, different sides of the paper as well so I've got some with the ombre side some with the heart side on the other one I have some of the um, the lines and uh, the dots so I have you know turned the papers upside down in different ways um, just so that I have a bit of variety in the patterns that I'm using where I have similar colors. Um, the flames um, have been cut from yellow paper um, and orange so I think I can't remember if there's an orange in the collection or in the collection pack the um, the Bella Besties pack or not but one of the colors was missing either the yellow or the red sorry the yellow or the orange um, so I just grabbed a sheet from my other Bella Besties um, uh, collection pack so um, so yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, so you can see that literally all I'm doing right now is assembling the rocket shapes. Um, so these are going to form my pages. Um, but I do want to um, work it so that I have more space for photos. So I'm planning on the three blue ones uh, to create those, um, the, the main body of the rocket to be like a door and to open. Um, so um, I'm just trying to, right now, as you can see me putting that together, you can try to, I can, you can almost see my brain trying to work it out. How am I going to achieve this? Um, so there we go. I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to do that. Of course, it's a curved shape. There's no straight edge. Um, so is that going to work? But it, it does work. I do actually put on a straight edge. Oh, and then I realized at this point that I quite would quite like to make the other pages open out as well, but they were way too stuck. So I couldn't prize them apart. So um, I just stuck with the three blue ones as the opening pages, uh, which, uh, which has worked out absolutely fine. So... So yeah, I'm still just assembling the rockets, the blue rockets, um, and I'm just going to uh, leave off the top layer. So the um, the blue main body of the rocket, I'm just going to leave that off um, and I'm going to work out how I'm going to turn those into opening pages. Um, so, um, so yeah, so how I'm going to do that is with my sewing machine. Um, so I actually really love to see sewing or machine stitching on... Um, mini albums. Um, so I'm, this one will be no exception. So I'm going to sew around the outside edges of the um, rockets, just the main body. I definitely can't go around the, the little bits on the side. I don't know what they're called. Are they wings? Um, <laughs> my space knowledge isn't that, isn't that great. Um, so I can't stitch around those because that would just be um, too awkward on the sewing machine, but I can definitely stitch around the main body of the rocket. Um, so I'm going to do that. But um, I'm going to First of all, I'm going to do the blue piece, the, the light blue piece, um, and then I'm going to do the dark blue piece, and then I'm going to add a line of stitching 
uh, down the side of the rocket um, on the left hand side so that it just opens and kind of creates a crease. Um, it will um, it will just have to be kind of a straight section. If I was to try to open it up on the curve, um, it probably would tear or, or just not not quite sit right. Um, so I'm going for a straight edge that's definitely going to um, work a little bit um, a bit better. So um, so I'm going to do that. Um, and it's really easy to do that on the sewing machine, just a straight line. So and that, and that then creates a door. Um, so super duper easy, um, nothing complicated in the slightest um, on, on these pages. Okay, so here we go uh, with everything stitched and um, in uh, in place. Um, I then realized that I would need to um, put my rocket um, onto a book ring in order to bind the pages together. I wasn't going to be able to bind them in any other way, I didn't think. Um, so, um, and then of course I realized that if I did that, then I wouldn't be able to open the page. <laughs> uh, so, you know, when you're making up a mini album like this as you go along, um, you do come across all kinds of little issues that you have to solve along the way. Um, so I simply um, took a notch out of the top of the, the door part um, with a uh, half inch circle punch. Um, and um, that worked so well, uh, and I just me meant that the hole was revealed underneath, um, but it just meant that the page was free to open and close really easily. Um, okay, so just um, going to decorate the front cover. Um, I want to call this mini album Zoom because my little boy zooms around all over the place all the time. Um, he also zooms around with his rockets. So um, I figured that Zoom was a great title for a mini album. Um, I absolutely love that little alien. Um, my little boy calls aliens yay yays, um, which is super cute. So um, I love the fact that we have aliens in this collection that I could put on the rocket. Um, so um, <clears throat> that's I've just placed that. It fitted perfectly inside the circle um, on the front cover. Um, I've also um, added some other bits and pieces onto that front cover as well. But right now I'm going to move on um, and uh, decorate the inside of the first page. So um, I had a too many photos really uh, to fit inside this album. Um, and instead of knocking down the number of photos, which I could have done, um, I decided to create some um, moving or interactive uh, pages. So as well as just the doors opening, um, I wanted to, I had to get extra photos in um, than just the one behind the door. So I had to try and figure out how to do that. So right now I'm just kind of planning the album. I'm putting the photos where I want them and figuring out how many I have. Oh, at this point, um, I add um, a little astronaut Bella Pop. He's so adorable, absolutely gorgeous. However, um, he didn't make it into the final album because my little boy got hold of the album because he loves it. Um, and um, he tried to pull the uh, astronaut off because he wanted to play with him. Um, and unfortunately, um, he lost his head. Uh, so, <laughs> so he had to be replaced with a robot, another robot Bella Pop. But, you know, these things happen, don't they? Um, I'll have to get another one of those cute little astronauts to use elsewhere. Um, okay, so I'm just pulling out a few bits of ephemera right now and working out what's going to go where and just adding a few bits and pieces um, here and there. Um, I'm just kind of tacking things in place. Everything could could move again at some point. Um, I tend to, when I go through mini albums and decorate them, I don't normally actually decorate them on camera because um, I do faff around so much. Um, and you can see how I'm uh, flitting from one page to another page um, to, you know, leafing through the whole thing, adding my photos, trying to figure out where my photos are going to go. Um, then I work on like a flip out and then I'll come back and then just add a random alien. So I kind of really um, do not necessarily do everything in the right order. And that's why quite often I don't film um, me actually making the pages themselves. Um, but I just thought that um, as the mini album itself was super easy to construct, um, I just thought I would film a few um, pages that I was making. Um, and uh, you can see that I'm doing some embellishing um, as I go along. And I say uh, very soon, I hope, <laughs> I will start to make one of the flip outs so you can see exactly what it was um, I did there. Um, but yeah, right now I'm still just... Um, adding embellishments. Um, I love that little alien, but he didn't make it um, onto, or, or did he? No, I don't think he did. He didn't make it into the album um, because I decided that um, 
the aliens went better and the astronauts went better. But like I said, <laughs> uh, once the alien lost, uh, once the um, astronaut lost his head, the uh, <laughs> the robot was a good replacement. <laughs> Um, I really love this rocket paper, for not rocket paper, planet paper from the To The Moon collection. There are a number of um, planets in the ephemera, um, but um, sometimes I just need just slightly smaller ones. Uh, so I fussy cut some from the um, planet's paper. Um, on this page, I'm just adding um, uh, one of those fussy cut planets. Um, I've also um, got... Uh, just added a little chipboard star um, and then on the other side the green side you can see that I've added uh, three two one um, and uh, a rocket's going to go on there as well um, so I'm just I say continuing to build up and add things and work out where things are going to go um, some pages are purely decorative whereas others are going to hold photos I was planning for my photos just to sit within the album pages themselves, as in behind the opening doors. Um, but um, it didn't quite work out that way because um, one of the photos was supposed to go elsewhere. Um, so it was <laughs> it was supposed to go inside, or it was supposed to go on a deck on a page that didn't open. And actually, I ended up sticking it to the wrong page. So anyway, we just have multiple photos in random places. These things happen as you create a mini album like this. And it really doesn't matter because no one else knows, or well, you do now, but no one else did know what my intentions were and, until I just told you. So um, if I hadn't told you, no one would ever know and it wouldn't look strange. But to me, um, I had other intentions. <laughs> uh, okay, so here I am creating one of the flip outs. So I've just taken, it's very simple, this is a concertina style. <clears throat> I've just taken a strip of this um, paper. It's kind of got meteorites all over it and it's yellow on the back. Um, that's from the To The Moon um, collection and I'm just, I've cut it just to um, the height, just a little bit above the height of my photo. So I would effectively, the, the size I would cut it if, it, if I were mounting my photo. Um, and then I've um, then folded it over and concertina folded it uh, twice so that I have three pieces. Um, and um, that is just going to... Um, hold extra photos. Um, I could decorate the back too, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it so that they show on the front. I'm going to have um, my two photos at either side of the um, on either side of the flip out. And then if I want to add something in the middle, I can either add um, journaling there or I could add another photo. But I had another photo, so I decided instead of just adding a photo, I would also add some journaling as well. So that just meant a little bit of extra work. So I grabbed a piece of vellum and made a little hinge just by folding it in half. Um, and it's um, and then I'm going to stick that on the back of my photo. Um, I'm going to hide it with um, the yellow. And then I'm going to stick that onto uh, my middle section there, just the vellum piece. And then, of course, the vellum piece will be on show. So I need to cover that up as well. So I got a piece of white cardstock cut to the size of my photo. Um, and all my photos and then that covers up that vellum, that vellum piece so the hinge is completely hidden you cannot see it at all and what it gives me is um, an extra space for a photo on the front of the um, trifold piece and then inside I have the, the kind of the door opens and I have a yellow side on the back of the photo which I can put an embellishment on or I could use more journaling if I had more to say. And then the right hand side, I'm going to add my journaling onto that piece of white cardstock. So that was just a really easy and fun way of getting some extra space um, into such a tiny album because it really is quite small. Um, so um, yeah, that worked out really, really well. I'm just going to put a little um, closure. That's from the sticker sheet. Um, and uh, that's the sticker that's kind of double sided and you fold over and it becomes a little tab that pulls out. So that works well. Um, so now I need to, unfortunately, it just pops up too much and my doors open, uh, just continuously fall open. So I need to add a closure. Um, so what I'm doing is I am just getting a piece of red twine and I have, I'm going to take that on the back of my little trifold piece of paper there. Um, and uh, I'm going to leave it long, sticking out from the right hand side. And now I'm going to attach my little booklet to the inside of my page. So there we go. And now I have this long tail sticking out of the right hand side. 
Um, and then I've now grabbed a star punch. Um, a circle punch works better. Star's definitely not a great shape for this. Um, but the uh, a star shape there that I've punched from red paper. And I've punched, oh, I've uh, pierced a little hole through the middle with a uh, paper piercing tool. And I've got a black brad um, that I've just popped in the middle there. Um, and that is going to form a small closure um, where I can wrap my twine around the star um, and that is going to hold my page closed. And I adopted that same method for the rest of the album as well. I'm going to switch over to a flip through now. Okay, so here is a flip through of this uh, completed um, cute little album all finished. Um, so I sewed around um, all the edges and then I created these little extra kind of pocket pages um, by um, creating opening pieces there. Um, and then in here I, wanted, I had some extra photos so I have a big kind of fold out um, piece there which also has a little flip open there. Um, so I have uh, photos and journaling which is nice to have space for both. I could have gone onto the back too but um, I just figured it would be best um, like that. And that just secures uh, by tying the uh, twine around the star. Um, then um, each page um, has something on the back as well, although not actually normally any photos. Um, so just embellished with some stickers. Um, love the little shooting stars, aliens. He loves aliens, so brilliant. Um, so we just have a kind of decorative page here with an alien on um, and um, decoration on the back and some journaling. Um, and then this one, actually this photo was actually supposed to go on here, I think, but something went wrong. <laughs> uh, or maybe that may be, yeah, it was. So that was supposed to go somewhere else. <laughs> but uh, you know, these things happen, right? So um, it didn't matter. So it just ended up on here. It just meant that some pages have no photos and this page has like four. So um, yeah, anyway, uh, this is another one of the um, open out pages. So I take off the um, twine and then open it out. I've got planets inside and then here, um, I have just a little booklet, so I didn't do a pull out this time, just a little booklet there. Um, I love that in his element, he certainly is, loves anything to do with rockets. Um, so that is that page, and uh, again, just tie that round with the um, closure. What didn't work? It's got stuck on my brow. There we go. Um, next page, we'll actually just turn over, and we have your Out of This World. I love these enamel um, dots there. Uh, we have one of the robots, which is a Bella Pop. Um, it was initially a little boy astronaut, uh, but my little astronaut of my own got hold of it and uh, pulled his head off. <laughs> um, I think he just wanted to play with it, and of course it was stuck to the page anyway. It, uh, it, it unfortunately did not survive, um, so we have a robot instead, but he loves robots as well, and robots and space aliens and uh, rockets all go well together in his eyes, so that's fine. Um, and then here, this is just a decorative page. Uh, we have a rocket on the back there, little hearts and some more enamel shapes and flat stars as well. Um, and then the final page is another fold out. Um, so we have um, the same kind of thing as in decorative on the front. You undo and fold open, have an alien or a yay yay as he calls them. Um, and then this one folds out in the same way as the first page did with the little flip open for um, for journaling. Uh, this little space dog, brilliant because his rocket came with a space dog. <laughs> Can you believe? So um, yeah, that's absolutely brilliant. So it was like it was made for us. Um, so uh, so there we go. And that one just closes out as well. And alien inside and some stars. And then that closes out as the others do. And then on the back, we just have Oops, I've got caught on my alien, uh, robot even. Uh, you're out of this world. So a nice chipboard sticker there. Okay, and that is it. So cute, cute little mini album. Absolutely adorable, to be honest. I love it. My little boy absolutely loves it. Every time he sees it, he wants to play with it. <laughs> so I have to keep it out of sight because otherwise it will get trashed. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Okay, so that is my completed mini album. I hope you enjoyed that flip through and that you were able to see um, how the mechanism works where it folds out. Um, here are a few um, close-ups of the pages. So you can see my stitching is in place um, on the back. Sometimes it shows up a bit more on the reverse side of the blue pages. Um, and I've got some decorative pages, some hold photos, all of the photo ones flip open. Um, thank you so very much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Bella Boulevard using the To The Moon collection.